Hi, my name is Rafael. I'm from Brooklyn, and the one experience I'm going to remember from Clearwater is um, be here with a crew and learning the new knots and everything. My name is Tyson Childs. I was a shop. I volunteered as a chaperone on Clearwater. Uh, one of the things I enjoyed the most was just learning everything about the boat, everything, the crew members. The trails, everything. Uh, my name is Marcus Gasteres, and I am a volunteer on the Clearwater. And one thing, and I'm from the Bronx, I'll have to say. And one thing that sparked the best interest to me was um, yesterday when we were on the boat, which was on Tuesday, and it was very, very windy, and which which was great for us since we we had a great opportunity to sail. It was a great, great experience for me. On, on, on the, on my behalf, because I've never been on a on such a big boat, let alone sailing and having everybody working working as a team together, and and it stood out with uh, with all the kids and everything, okay. and the crew was uh, was awesome. I okay, my name is Annika Savio. I am the boatswain on board. I'm from up north, about three hours in a little town called Schoharie. Um I think that the young men at the helm and the young women at helm last week, both boats programs are really cool and a really different experience that we can show the kids other than what we usually do with the day sales, which are really cool too. Um, yeah, and I really enjoyed bringing all those kids to a new experience that they probably had never had before. Hey, my name is Thomas Manfred Schieffer. I'm from Austin, Texas originally. I'm living in New York City. Um, I'm a volunteer. I'm the first ever young man at the helm on the Clearwater Sloop. And um, something that stood out for me is probably just the great group of kids that we had. So uh, it's been nice working with all of them. Roy Rezzo, I'm a science teacher in New York Harbor School, Brooklyn, New York, and I'm volunteering for Young Men at the Helm, and it's a great couple days, and love the hike, and love the water, and we got some really good wind. It was great to see the students step up and embrace it. Hi, I'm Dan. Uh, I was a volunteer at Young Men at the Helm, and one thing I will always remember about it is uh, how much I can I'm Donkey Dover. I'm from Boone, North Carolina. I'm actually a watch leader on Young Men at the Helm this year, um, teaching some kids about cultural heritage in the Hudson Valley. And one of the best things was this morning uh, playing a teamwork game with the kids and watching all 20 guys get together towards a common goal and accomplish it. I'm Beth. I'm from New Jersey. I'm the education intern on board. And the thing that stood out the most to me was how willing everyone is to try new things, even if at first they look a little skeptical. <laughs> My name is Margalee Furman, and I live in Morrisville, Pennsylvania. I'm the cook's assistant on this trip, and something I've taken away from this is that I can do a lot more under high heat and pressure than I thought I could. Man, was it hot. I just had sweat running down my legs standing here, and it was, but, it, but cooking for all these kids, amazing. Hey, uh, I'm Eric Fife. I'm the first mate for the Young Man at the Helm program. And uh, something that really stood out for me uh, during this trip is just how great all the participants are. And just you know, enthusiastic and you know, interested in their own little special areas. Okay, hi, uh, I'm Julie. Uh, I'm the cook on board the Swiss Clearwater. Um, so my job is feeding everybody, and for the uh, the young men program, it was to feed them as well, which was very challenging and uh, super fun. Uh, looking forward to doing it again next year. Uh, I think this year, what I'll remember most of uh, being the pilot program was that they uh, teenage boys eat a lot of food, a real lot of food, <laughs> and that's good. So. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nara, and my position on this boat, I'm a volunteer, and I'm from the Bronx, and something that stood out for me, um, is just, like, helping out the kids over here on the boat, and, you know, pulling all these ropes is hard, because, like, 
you gotta heave and haul, heave and haul, and you got all these blisters on your hands, and it's just, it's really hard to like, keep pulling, but you just gotta keep going. Hey, my name is Tizoc, everybody called me T on board. Uh, I'm from New York City, and I joined the Clearwater crew just because I knew some people, I heard about the young men at the helm, it's the first year they're doing this, and it's been an amazing experience. I mean, it's one of these things that I wish when I was 15, 16, 17, I wish I had a chance to do this. I'm walking away from, uh, from this program, learning more about myself, and learning more about, like, just being young again, really. So, um, I hope to see more people out on the water. Uh, hi, I'm Amy. I am an apprentice on board, and I'm from Michigan. Uh, my favorite thing, and probably the thing I'll remember most, is how proud the guys were of what they learned on the boat. Uh, so my name is Chelsea. I'm the deckhand on board. Although during Young Men at the Helm, I was helping Julie, the cook, in the galley. Uh, I grew up in Wisconsin, and uh, I would have to say that what I got out of Young Men at the Helm was how rewarding it can be to feed so many young bellies. <laughs> Hi, my name is Esther Whitmore. I'm from Washington State, and I'm the first mate aboard the Clearwater. Um, one thing I really enjoyed about Young Men at the Helm was being able to teach this time around. Uh, normally I'm mate, so I didn't get, during our last program, I didn't get as involved with the kids. Uh, but being a group leader this time, I really got to get to know them a little better and uh, see how they changed over the course of three days, so that was really fun for me. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Nicholas Rogers, I'm the captain on board the Sloop Fuel Water, and uh, I'm from, mostly from Massachusetts. I grew up in Texas for a little while. Uh, I think the thing that I'm going to remember most about uh, young men at the helm is just the fact that it was young men at the helm. And I've worked on boats where we've had overnight programs before and it's always something that I really wanted to be a part of on the Clearwater. I've been running a young woman at the helm now for, you know, some say 15 years in some parts of the program and it's just really exciting to be part of the first uh, young men. Three days of uh, 20, 22 people. 19, however many there are, it's just a bunch of us. It's just a lot of fun. So I think that that's uh, I think I'm just gonna remember the whole whole uh, whole shebang. My name is Maya Nemisto and I'm one of the educators of Clearwater. I'm from Northfield, Minnesota, and I've been working for Clearwater for about a year and a half. Okay. And you were the you were in charge of the Young Men at the Helm program. Uh, what were your hopes for it when you got started on the program? Um, Young Men at the Helm, since it's the first year we've ever done it, I knew that it was going to be you know, a lot of surprises. We had the same format as we used for Young Women at the Helm, which we've done for about 10 years. Um, but my expectations were all just really open, you know, hoping it would be a fun time, the guys would learn a lot. Um, it was amazing. It, it all came out really, really well. Is there any one thing that stood out for you from this program? Um, I was surprised at how willing the guys were to really um, share like their own feelings and things and then also really um, they were engaged in almost everything that we did. Awesome.